welcome to my kitchen! Alam niyo ba, napansin ko na ever since ECQ started, marami talaga ang natuto at nahilig mag-bake. So I decided to share one recipe video to all of you na sana naman ay mag-bake niyo rin para sa inyong pamilya. And this recipe is called My Burnt Bass Cheesecake. So let's start! Burnt Basque Cheesecake. This is just like your New York cheesecake, pero wala siyang crust. And from the title na nga, it's burnt. So you have to burn the top of the cheesecake using very high heat. And this one is compared to your regular cheesecakes. We're looking for the crack appearance. So you can never really go wrong with this cheesecake. Madali lang to. So first thing that you need to do, you need your cheesecake pan. So your cheesecake pan, ayan, this one, preferably meron removable bottom. You just line this with some butter and wax paper. So your wax paper natin, line din siya with butter. So let's just make sure that you have it there with, lagay ko lang dito, sa ating pan. There. Make sure na when you cut your wax paper, you have around 2 inches dito sa edges niya para you could fold it there. Kasi later on, when we bake our cheesecake, dyan natin hahawakan when we lift it up. Okay, so we already have that lined. Next thing that we need is, okay, we have here our mixer. You need a mixer for this recipe. So we have here some cream cheese. Yung cream cheese natin, nasa room temperature na siya. So you need about, okay, <laughs> you need about four bars of cheesecake. So let's just place it all there. So don't worry, I put the recipe and the measurements and description box para na naman try nyo rin gawin sa pamilya nyo, okay? So, it's very important because it's a baking measurement, so I'll be putting it there. And I have here my white sugar. So, let's put it also in our mixer. And let's just put it down. And we will just mix this for around 2 minutes. Para lang siguro doon natin na incorporate yung ating sugar with the cream cheese at wala ng lumps. Okay, so let's start. Medium speed for two minutes. Ayan. So smooth na yung ating cream cheese and sugar mixture. I will just turn this off. Okay, turn it off first. And then I lift this up to check. So you can see, ayan, see? Naglighter na rin yung color na ating cream cheese. So let me just scrape it off. At this point now, we're gonna be adding our eggs. So we need six eggs. So one thing lang din ay tuturo ko sa inyo, when you crack the eggs, don't crack it directly dun sa inyong mixing bowl. Crack it on a separate bowl and one at a time. Just to make sure na fresh yung egg na magagamit nyo. Kasi mayroong mga kitchen accidents minsan na hindi na pala bago yung egg. Tapos sinalo nila dun sa kanilang uh, butter and cream or butter and sugar mixture. So sayang, di ba? The discard mo yun. So might as well just... Um, crack one egg and then place it dun sa ating bowl before we add it to the mixing bowl. So, okay. I'll add one egg at a time. Okay, I increase the speed already. So, around after 15 seconds, we add our eggs again. We have six eggs. We add. There you go. So once all the eggs are added into our mixing bowl, we now add in our cream. For our cream, we need two cups. So we'll just add it into our mixing bowl. There you go. Let's show it to them. And another one. Okay, so well incorporated na yung ating ingredients dito sa ating mixing bowl. Let me just turn this off and let me just check. Ayan. So, you can always um, look at your mixture and then scrape the sides of your bowl to make sure na namimix natin lahat ng ingredients. Ha? Kasi minsan, hindi nasasama yung mga nasa gilid-gilid. So, it's important that we scrape the sides of our mixing bowl. Okay, so this is good. Let me just put this down. And now, we add in our vanilla and some salt. So let's just mix that. Okay. 
Okay, so once the mix ng ating vanilla and salt, we'll add in the next ingredient. So at this point, let me just turn off our mixing bowl and then we'll add our all-purpose flour. So pakita natin. So on low speed, add the all-purpose flour. Okay, so we just mix that for like around 15 to 20 seconds or until makita lang natin na bumaba na nga yung ating flour mixture dun sa ating batter. Okay, pag nakikita niyo mga gilid-gilid, so you have to scrape that off. Like what, I'll show it to you now. Like what I'll do. So you have to, yan yung mga flour dito sa gilid, baba natin siya dun sa mixture para maisama siya dun sa minimix ng ating mixing bowl. Ayan, pati itong mga nandito, ayan o. May mga nakasabit-sabit sa ating paddle attachment. So, let's just scrape that off and mix it. There. Okay, let's continue to mix. For around 15 seconds more. Ayan, so smooth na yung ating mixture at this point. I can now turn this off. There. So, di ba napakadali lang niya. Let's just scrape everything. Okay. And let me get this out. Okay. And get our batter. Okay. So this is our batter. Lalagyan na natin siya ngayon sa ating prepared pan. So let's just place it there. Ayan. So fill it ng mga three-fourths full. Huwag aapaw. Kasi mag-rise pa to later when we bake it. Okay, so ready na yung ating cheesecake batter. Nakagawa ako for two cheesecake pans na around 8 inch. Of course, I already have here my oven preheating at 400 degrees um, Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. So medyo mainit in it siya. Kaya ang high heat talaga to burn the top of the cheesecake. So let me just place our cheesecake here. Here, inside the oven. Here, so the long cheese cake. There. Okay, it's there. So we're just gonna wait for around 60 minutes or one hour, and then we'll check our cheesecake again. Welcome, okay? Okay, so it's been an hour, so we're gonna check our burnt basque cheesecake inside the oven. Ayan! This is good already, as you can see. Ayan, pakita natin. There you go. So, okay, matapot. Ganyan talaga yung itsura niya. Medyo jiggly pa siya. Pero look at the top. That's what we're after. Sabi nga na aking staff na si Ate Baby, mukha ko egg pa yung taas. So, this is good. I'm just gonna take it off the oven. Place it in the countertop and then I'll cool it before I unmold it and show it to you later. Let's go. Kunin mo na siya. So, ayan o. Jiggly pa siya. So, once we unmold this, once it gets cooled down, medyo magpo-collapse yung ating cheesecake. But don't worry. I'll show it later kung ano dapat yung chula. Ayan, I'm done with my burnt basque cheesecake. See, I got a slice already. I've unmolded it. And I'm about to taste it. Pero syempre, bago ang lahat, I would just like to thank all of you for watching my episode for today. I hope that you learned something new. O dun sa mga natatakot na mag-bake ng cheesecake, this recipe is perfect for you kasi you don't have to worry about it looking so beautiful kasi nga pag basque burnt cheesecake, medyo cracked siya, medyo burnt. So very rustic ang itsura niya pero napakasarap ng lasa. So I hope that you enjoyed today. I hope na marami kayong natutunan. And of course, I'll be thinking of more recipes which I'll be sharing to all of you. In the meantime, stay safe, stay at home, and of course, God bless you all. See you! Tikman ko muna siya. Let's see. Yay! Should serve this at room temperature. Mmm, so good.